Hey guys, even here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting, as you can see, with a physique update of Hari Chopin and in the caption here he says 7 weeks out Today we are more like 6 or 5 and a half weeks out, but I guess this video was taken like a week ago so at this point he's probably even more shredded than here and at this point, yeah, he is gonna be getting leaner as the show approaches he probably didn't have to really try to get lean this entire time because he probably stayed in a really good shape after the Mr. Olympia but now it's time to tighten it up now obviously this is a back physique update and the main thing I'm noticing right here is that he actually improved his back I know, I understand how silly it sounds, how crazy it is because it's only been a couple of months since the Mr. Olympia but guys I don't think his back ever looked this good, check it out! I'm sure you remember how much they criticized him for his back, for his lower back especially how it's not dry enough, how he doesn't have any details and yeah, it was true, it was like that and it was kind of like that also at this Mr. Olympia that he lost but look at it now, I think it definitely looks improved I'm pretty sure his lower back looks thicker than ever before how is that even possible? Well, I got a couple of ideas and it's not his meticulous style of training it's more likely the fact that he was just so angry that he lost and he realized that he lost all of his, both of his back shots so he was driven to really train hard to really punish that back and he did that and also this is the first time in a long time that he is competing right after the Mr. Olympia so I think he utilized that post-show rebound maximally like I said up until this point or maybe like a couple of weeks ago he didn't have to like push for conditioning you know after a show unless you go off the gear and you do a health phase or you intentionally try to slow your metabolism down usually your metabolism is like super super fast so you can keep eating and you can stay in really good shape your nutrient partitioning or your insulin sensitivity is gonna be super high so you can really make a lot of progress in that post-show rebound period and at this point he had like 3 months since the Mr. Olympia now 3 months is not a lot of time for somebody at this level to make progress but it, I think it was enough time because he hasn't really done this in a long time probably he didn't have like a post-show rebound where he was super driven, super focused to improve and I think he did that I mean I don't think it, I see it I see that this back looks better we'll see how much better it looks on stage but it does look really good here now Hadi is never gonna look super good in the back double bicep I think mainly because of his shoulders that are super overpowering and also his structure is not exactly ideal for this pose he's a little bit blocky his legs could be bigger from behind his waist could be smaller he's a little bit squarish and his shoulders are just enormous why are they so big don't even get me started <laughs> but as far as like the back itself it's definitely improved and this pose looks so much better is it gonna look better than Derek at a Mr. Olympia if he keeps improving, if he improves even more in the Arnold Classic post-show rebound if he does that as well? No, no, I don't think he can surpass Derek's back but it can be a lot better and it can close the gap between those two guys, those two backs now as far as winning the Arnold Classic yeah, it's, it's his show to lose, I mean, let's be honest like, it's not, I mean, even though Samson won it last year how did he beat Samson at the Mr. Olympia? by one spot, I know there is a big chance of Samson beating Hardy this time around and I would love to see that happen because I'm a big fan of Samson but at this point, from all I've seen I think Hardy is still the favorite also, I gotta say, I gotta notice in this physique update you can see that his glutes are definitely getting more conditioned and I don't think they were super peeled at the Mr. Olympia I think they could have been even more shredded because I don't think he brought his best conditioning ever to the Mr. Olympia 2023 and 2022 he was definitely bigger than all the years before not super conditioned this time around, I feel like he's gonna be just as big with an improved back and with more conditioning I think his back is also gonna look more impressive just as well his glutes and his hamstrings are gonna be so yeah, it's gonna be really hard for this guy to lose this show you guys tell me what do you think do you think anybody, Samson Daura in particular has a chance of beating Hari Chopin? we'll see what Samson is gonna post in the next coming weeks but at this point, yeah, I gotta say, this guy is definitely the favorite because look at this, this is just freaky, this is just crazy 
Alright, next up we got a physique update of another Iron Classic competitor and you know this guy might be a big surprise. At this point, without Andrew Jack in the mix anymore, and most likely without Nexilla, you know, this guy can potentially crack that top three. You know, it's possible. So at five and a half weeks out, we got this physique update of Horse MD, Marcelo the Angelis, and I gotta say he looks really good. Now he doesn't look maybe as shredded as, for example, Harry Chopin, or even James Hollins here, or Samson Dauda, but this is basically daily lighting, and at this lighting you can't really look that shredded, especially if it's coming from a window that's on your side. This is basically the most realistic lighting, you won't look any better than you really are if you take a photo in a lighting like this. However, if you take a photo under like some really cool gym lighting and you add some filters to it, like Heidi did, you're gonna look more shredded than you really are in real life, but even here you can see that Horse MD is in a pretty good shape. And also, when he was prepping for that Romania Pro, I was looking at his photos and up until like the last moment, I wasn't sure he was gonna make it. I wasn't sure he was gonna be shredded enough. But like in the last couple of weeks, he got super peeled and he stayed really big. So I think they know what they're doing. I think Milo Sharchin knows exactly what he's doing. And this guy is going to be peeled in five and a half weeks. Not exactly peeled, peeled, but he's gonna be lean enough and big enough and full enough. And like I said, he can be top three. Like who can really stop him? At this point, I only see two guys stopping him potentially, and that's Rafael Brandau first and then James Hollingshead. So I think those two guys are more likely to make that top four than Horse MD. And if I was a batting man, I would bet on Rafael Brandau for that top three spot, I wouldn't bet on James, but as far as James versus Horse MD, whew, that's a tough one, that's a really tough one, you might think it's James, because he has more experience, of course, he's a veteran of the sport at this point, he competed so many times, he won multiple pro shows, and Horse MD only had a pro debut, but at his pro debut, he beat Nathan Diasha, did James Collins had ever beat Nathan Diasha? I don't think so, and he looked really good, next to Samson Dauda, so I don't know, I don't know, I, maybe if James brings something insane now with Milo Sharchev, then sure, but you know, the way things are looking at this point, I don't know, I don't think I can tell, at this point I think those guys are really close, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the top five, you know, after Hardy and Samson, Raphael, Horse MD and James Hollingshead, I think those five guys are gonna be in that top five, unless Nexilla shows up, then I have him in my top three, but Horse MD right now looks awesome, and I think he has a chance of being in that top three, the Arnold Classic, and if he does that, in this lineup, with this competition, I mean, as his second pro show ever, that's gonna tell a lot, that's gonna be a major statement, what do you guys think, is it possible? Or is it gonna be this guy who surprises everybody and cracks that top 3, top 4, top 5? Well, we got a physique update from Justin Rodriguez, and this is a really good gym lighting, actually this is a posing room, and the lighting here is pretty much perfect. Like, you're never gonna look better than you look here, and I think this would be awesome if this was the lighting at all shows, and the background was dark like this. It would be really cool, but, you know, I guess sponsors and stuff like that, and like setting up the lighting, it's not really that simple. Uh, unfortunately, I, you would think it would be, but it's not. Anyways, we got a physique update of Justin Rodriguez, and yeah, here he looks crazy. And one of the Instagram pages reposted this, this physique update, and there were some interesting comments in the comment section. So I wanted to address those. Somebody asked if uh, Justin had a tricep tear on both of his triceps. And I think I can see why somebody would think that, because there is a big disproportion between his biceps and triceps. Personally, I think, well, I think first of all his biceps are more dominant genetically, but I think he put a lot more oil in his biceps than he did in his triceps. And I think he did the same thing with his quads, I think he really filled them up with oil, with a lot of oil, and I think that's why he lost all the quality. He seems very lean, but where is the separation, where are the cuts, where are the details? They are all completely gone. And there was that one year when his legs blew up like they were double the size. It wasn't even a long off season actually, it was a couple of months, maybe like 5-6 months tops. 
and we were left to wonder what the hell happened with those quads and i think it's pretty obvious i think he put a lot of oil in his uh, quads and basically in a lot of other places in his body but i think it actually helped him i mean he was never the most aesthetic guy and now he had much better proportions you know his legs were always lagging behind because he was super wide in the shoulders and he made his legs bigger wider and i think it actually helped him i mean the oil is kind of visible but more so because you know how much smaller his legs were up until recently you can't really see it i mean you can kind of guess but it's not that visible so i think overall you know it paid off for him and also people are saying that he won't be ready in time, that he won't be conditioned enough, which I completely disagree with, I think he will be conditioned enough. This guy is known for getting in condition in a couple of weeks, like he can get shredded really really fast and there is 5 weeks left, so he will be ready, he will be shredded, that's for sure. What I do worry about is whether he's gonna peak right, because I think that's where he messes up very often. And the other thing is whether his body is washed up completely at this point because it kind of seems like that it seems like his best days are in the past but you know seeing these physique updates and seeing how big and how round and how really massive he is right now if he gets shredded if he peaks right with all this muscle it's gonna be hard to ignore this guy but i don't have him in my top five no but maybe like right outside that top five that's pretty possible, like with all this muscle and with good conditioning, again, it's gonna be hard to ignore him. But whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see more content and you wanna help me reach the 50k subscribers, guys, please, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best guys and bye-bye.